New tonight, millions of doses of the COVID-19 vaccine have gone into the arms of people across the country. However, at the same time, new research shows some people are still hesitant to get in line for the shot. ABC Action News reporter Mary O'Connell explains what's holding some people back and why health experts say it's important for you to get your dose when you can. The latest CDC data shows more than 38 million people in the U.S. have gotten one or more doses of the COVID-19 vaccine. However, research shows some people want to wait. Every day uh, that you wait um, and not get it, you're increasing your chances that you're going to get the infection. According to the Kaiser Family Foundation's ongoing research project, 31% of the public say when a vaccine is available to them for free, they'll wait until it has been available for a while to see how it's working for other people before getting vaccinated themselves. That group expressing concern about vaccine safety and long term effects while also wanting to know more about side effects and how well the vaccine works. You know, they are completely safe. They ran a full uh, safety profile and a full phase two clinical trial on them. And, um, you know, there were tens of thousands of individuals who were tested with really no problems whatsoever. Health experts have said we need a high percentage of the population vaccinated to reach herd immunity. With 31% taking a wait and see attitude, we're not going to be able to reach herd immunity until, you know, one third to one half of those people finally decide, hey, it's good enough and I'm going to go and get the shot. Of the wait and see group, about 60% said they'd be more likely to get vaccinated if the quickest way for life to return to normal is for most people to get the vaccine. While nearly 40% said they'd be more likely if a close friend or family got the shot, leaving health experts hoping. Let's just all get it done and then we can put this behind us and not have to live in fear anymore. In Tampa, Mary O'Connell, ABC Action News.